Well, part of it is probably me, and that that's always been a, a, a focal point in my ministry. But I think also it, some of it predates me, because uh, this congregation was was strong in stewardship since long before I came here. So it's it's been building on that tradition, I suppose. And I think just the ability to talk openly and honestly about money and its place in our life has helped in, throughout the year. Although I don't think we've ever had a kind of a coordinated year-round stewardship emphasis, it's just a topic that comes up mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Well, basically when I think of stewardship, I think of all of the things that we do. Um, at, at our congregation, we're involved in a lot of outreach programs, um, Interfaith Hospitality Network, John Street Soup Kitchen, Kids Express. Um, so those are, are some things that I think of. But also, um, it's, we have a, a pretty good sized Sunday school program. So we have Sunday school teachers who are, are teaching in, in those programs. And as you know, like right now, we have a, an adult program going on. Um, that someone is presenting who um, works for um, Church World Hunger. And they are talking about what they do for Church World Hunger. Um, so there's, there's all kinds of things that I think about when I think about stewardship, and it's how you use the talents that God has given you um, to help others. So it's, it's really not, you know, when a lot of people think about stewardship, they think about money. Um, but really here, that's not the focus of our stewardship program. Our stewardship program is what talents, what things do you know how to do? How can you help um, our church, our community, um, in whatever way? Um, I think we, well, we've done it, a couple, every year we do it slightly different. We have a theme, and I think that theme speaks to us. Um, you know, it might be growing God's love. Um, and we, we really put emphasis on that in the fall, so we'll build up to it. So each sermon or each service or maybe in the back of the bulletin, there'll be some kind of saying, grow in God's love. Um, that was one of our, our, our commitment themes, our stewardship themes. We also do a temple talk at the beginning uh, of the service during this time of the year uh, where some where our members or lay leaders come up and, and just talk about giving. Uh, some are funny. We use a little humor. Um, and, uh, um, and we also have a brunch, which... Uh, not to be silly, but it's a time to all get together and it's, you know get together with food. It's a reason to come, literally, and it's a reason to, to be together. Um, and uh, I think those kinds of things help. Giving people a lot of information, at least people who understand and like to work with numbers, um, seem to appreciate being able to see what happens in our congregation. So we mostly using the Consecration Sunday step chart, but we, we give them that and other information about what we're actually doing in that way, without names. But, you know, they can see that, you know, uh, the top 5% of our givers give 35% of what's given, or I don't remember the exact numbers, but things like that, and, and just how the, the range of gifts in the congregation and what's typical. Especially newer people, they have no clue what's... Uh, you know what's normal. They they like some kind of guidance, although, you know, short of telling them what they, what they should do. Like you should give this much. That's, they don't want you to do that. But, right. <laughs> but they just like to know that some more background about what how giving works around here. Well, one thing that we do here a lot in this church is we reiterate. Um, and so, and it, sometimes I've, I've heard it take seven times for people to hear something before they get the message. And I think Pastor Dan does a very good job in reiterating it and, and taking that same theme and, and doing it in different ways, whether it be the children's service uh, sermon or, um, or whether it be, I can't think of other examples right now, but um, so he, he also has a, uh, he does talk about it financially. He has a little insert to our bulletin about what people do give, not who, but what is given. Another tactile form. So he, he appeals to our, our you know, the, the hymns, of course, sing to us, reiterate again our message. We may pick hymns that, you know, line up with that statement or theme. Um, the children's sermons will line up with that statement or theme. The giving statement or the, the little summary, you know, it lines up with that. So we're always reiterating a point that we can reflect on at home when we're not here and apply it to our lives, you know, give as you feel blessed, that kind of thing. We, we really do a good job at kind of tying loose ends, tying us together, reiterating it, and, uh, and bringing the point home, mm -hmm. I, I think. Mm -hmm. We don't exactly ask for money. 
It's, um, we, we do in a roundabout way, but um, when, we, when we ask for money, we, we, just, we talk about the things that we're going to do and the money that's needed to do those things. Um, and so it's, you know, like, okay, you know, people generally, um, here's, here's what we need, here's where the money, we, we kind of show people a chart where money comes from and um, basically um, who's giving um, how much, and it's not specific people, but we talk about categories. You know, we have so many people that donate, you know, 5,000 a year, so many that donate, you know, 1,000, so many that donate 100, whatever, whatever that may be, and that um, we, we talk about, okay, if we can increase any of those categories by 1%, um, what additional things could we do as a congregation? And so we talk about the things that we can do, not the money that we need, because we know that we need money for, you know, oil, we need money for snow plowing, we need money for administration. You know, all those things are, are there, and, and that's really actually a big percentage of our, our budget, but um, that's not the kind of thing that we talk about. That, that giving is, is essentially a spiritual discipline, and that, uh, I guess, is part of the, the core of my, my thoughts about giving and belief about it, is that if you wish to be, desire to be a growing Christian in your faith, that giving is really a key place to begin or focus. Um, Jesus said, where your treasure is, your heart will follow. So if, you're, if you want your heart in his mission, then put your treasure there and it'll follow. So it's, instead of the other way around. Right. Um,